What's up everyone, welcome back to the studio. Today, I wanted to make a second video talking about the Brick 600 because it seems like a lot of y'all liked that first video I made and thank you all so much for your support on that one. But today I wanted to kind of go a little bit further talking about how does it wash, does it peel, and all these other questions that you might have. So let's get right into it. I was thinking the best way to showcase the products is I'm just gonna show y'all stuff that I made in the last two years. So I'm gonna put it on the table and I'll show you like the angles and I'll just talk about the process of you know, how I tested them, as well as how long I've had the products, how often I wear it and all that, so that you kind of get a feel of how durable these things are. So let's take a look over here. So here's the pile of my brick work that I have done in the last two years. I'm gonna talk about each piece and kind of what the thought process was in the design and also how many times I've washed them approximately and yeah, how it looks today. So let's just go with this one first. So this shirt was probably the first one that I did. I sewed a label on here, I was practicing sewing. And yeah, it's a woven label, so it looks all right. You know, I don't know why this black part's coming out, but it's term in terms of the stitch lines and all this, it looks pretty solid. But anyway, that's besides the point. So yeah, this is the first item I pressed, I think, that I have right now. And this is my old Vision logo. Um, I was just testing out the brick, so I, I haven't sold this design um, because the new one is original and this is kind of like a rip but anyway so you can see here um i've probably worn this i mean it's been washed a lot let's just say that and you can see here nothing is peeling on the edges which is always the question um and that is why i have faith in the brick because this garment this shirt is probably three to four years old but this is probably about two years old at this point and yeah, always wash it inside out. That's the key with anything is you gotta make sure you take care of it. But the main thing is that it's still intact. And I must say though, the white isn't as vibrant as it used to be. It might be hard to tell in this lighting because it looks pretty white to me through, the, through my phone, but the brick does kind of discolor over time. So that's something to keep in mind. But in terms of peeling, this is still completely on the shirt without any peeling. And my heat press is beeping, so hold on a second. All right, just a side note, I'm also gonna be pressing a shirt. So we're gonna be doing another brick. Here's my little craft box and we're gonna be doing the techno shirt. And happens to be brick. So this will be a good demo, but I'm not gonna talk about the settings since uh, y'all kind of know that from my last video, but this will be a really thin one with sharp lines and you're gonna see how clean this comes out on the black shirt. All right, I fast forwarded the part where I pre-pressed it and put it on the press. So we're just gonna go straight into the press, but this parchment paper or any kind of sheet helps the transfer from moving because there's no adhesive on the brick. So that's something to keep in mind is when you press brick, you don't want it to move because I have a hunch that sometimes when you press the top flatten down, it moves a little bit. So the sheet definitely helps it from uh, moving around. And I know that the recommendations do state it's okay if you use a sheet. So that's why I use the sheet. And then we just hit it for 20 seconds on the top. Boom, beep in. And then as always, we flip it. Let's check the placement. Yeah, placement's good. Center is always a little tricky because sometimes the collar looks a little distorted. You gotta always use your eyes, no matter what. That's the key with everything you do in production is you have to use your eyes. Like guides are great, you know, you can use your tools and stuff, but at the end of the day, you have to verify with your own eyes if it looks good. And here we hit it on the second side. Cool. So here's a techno brick that I just did. Let's do the peel, make sure it applied correctly. So the thing with the brick is if you applied it well, nothing should be coming off. Like there should be no lifting at all when you peel this and pretty much comes off like butter and it should be very obvious that it's stuck to your garment. Um, if you have stuff peeling off, I'll suggest just grab a Teflon sheet and press it again. But this already feels good. I give it like a small nudge on the edges when I'm done just to make sure that nothing comes off. But Honestly, I have no problems. Like I've probably made, I don't know, 50 to 60 of these and I haven't had a single person reach out to me that something has peeled or had a problem. So I take that as, you know, a pretty good metric of success. So now that we have this, let's talk about some of the older ones that I have. And before I forget, I do sell all my designs on I Can Do A Dodge Shop. So if you wanna support my channel further and my business, you can find all my stuff there. And now back to the brick. So we got a collection of my goods here. I already talked about this one, so we can move on from this. 
Next, let's talk about this house crew neck that I did. So this one is another classic. So <laughs> a little disclaimer, I did prematurely sell this before I figured out the brick. So it's not that easy to tell here, but my lines are not as clean as they are now. We're approaching a year and a half with this garment. And this is one of the first brick items that I sold to the public. And it's a full size brick backing. And again, none of the edges are peeling. You can tell that it's slightly discoloring to like black. There's like a gray hue. I don't know if you can see it in the video, but again, it's like minor things that you can see if you look at it closely, but nothing catastrophic or major where it's very obvious and it doesn't change the look or the wearability of it. So I think that's the most important thing is like if the corners start appealing or if there's issues, you know, with like if this start turning gray and black and whatever on the front, I think that would be a problem, but this looks completely fine. Again, my lines aren't the best, but this still looks okay. So I <laughs> I should have known a little bit better before I launched it, but that was like the max of my skill cap. And honestly, from a distance, you can't tell. So I was trying to not be too overcritical about myself, and that's why I dropped it, but I would totally go back and redo it with how I have the cuts now because they're a lot cleaner. But this is acceptable. So on to the next one. So these pair of pants is actually probably the best indicator of how durable brick is. So I've had these pair of shorts for, again, about a year and a half as well. And I wore this exclusively to test if this will come off. And you can tell that the brick has kind of turned to gray more than a black. It's also because of the lighting that I have and it's easier to show you obviously, but it's definitely not as black as it was, you know, when I first pressed it but check out the corners and stuff. Like it's still here, nothing has peeled. And this, I abused on purpose. Like I wore this to the gym, I hiked in these, I washed them improperly. Like I would not turn it inside out. I'll put it through the dryer. And this thing has seen a lot of abuse. So it's doing pretty good. I also did an embroidery as a test, but the puckering was a little bit too bad. So I was like, you know what? We will have to fine tune the settings there, but in terms of the brick, I think this speaks the whole story about the durability of brick because this thing has been through everything. And I think if this doesn't convince you, then I'm not really sure what will, but yeah, obviously it's not perfect. There's like these little pieces chipping away at the corners and there's some indentation. Cause when I was traveling, what happened was some of the letters got pressed down by a zipper in my travel bag and it's, smash the indentation of the zippers into it. So I can't blame the brick for that, that was my fault. But besides that, you know, in terms of like, does it peel, does it come off? It does not come off. So this is a testament of the durability. And finally, this is probably the most recent one that I have, if this damn thing can focus. This is brick on the same AS color shorts. As you can tell, I'm a pretty big fan of these AS color shorts because I like them to, I like wearing them to work out in. But this has been washed like four times since I do wear it to the gym. And that's kind of how I test it is I wear it to the gym a lot and I work out so that, you know, it stretches, it sweats, it gets pushed, put through the wash cycle a lot of times. And that way I don't have to just throw clothing in for the sake of testing it through the wash. So yeah, this has been pretty good so far. Four washes, clean, nothing's peeling. So let's just talk about things to look out for when you do this to make sure that your stuff can last as long as mine. So as y'all know, my heat press is the 16 by 20 auto from Heat Press Nation. And this thing has been the workhorse and partially the reason why I believe all my stuff has been coming out really good. Um, obviously there's a lot of different options out there. Everyone has different budgets, but for me, this press has been amazing. The only problems I had was in the beginning when I wasn't really sure how to use it properly with the pressure and I was kind of blaming the machine, but in reality it was my fault. And also there's some creaks that happen uh, when you use it for a long time. So you have to oil up the piston and just make sure that there's lubrication so you don't have creaking sounds. And also the shirt pressure has kind of been all right. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I know it can help a lot of people when they first start out. So when I say you want to apply things properly, I'm talking about like you need to use a proper press, whether it's this one or it's another press off Amazon that has good reviews. 
but for me like key press nation was the press i went with because after watching videos on youtube like the grando and some other folks it just seemed like the right decision and i'm really glad i did because yeah, they've just been really awesome people to work with and also this thing's been a workhorse so i just wanted to throw that out there when i say the proper equipment the proper application because I think a lot of people want to get the best equipment, right? But you don't want to go out and spend $2,000 on a Stahl's Hotronics uh, press, not the hat press, but you know what I mean? You don't want to drop two grand before you even know that this is something you want to do. So I think Heat Press Nation is actually a pretty solid price point for what you get. Also with the guaranteed customer service and help desk that comes with the package. So if you have any problems, you just call them up. They'll send you videos on how to fix things. And I think that is something that is really important because with Amazon, it's always a gamble. You don't know what's gonna happen. So just wanna throw that in there real fast. One of the biggest things I wanna emphasize is you have to apply these correctly with the proper temperature, proper pressure, and you have to take care of them with the proper wash instructions in order for your garments to last with the brick not coming off. And I think that's something that really is understated because technically you can apply the brick with an iron. You can apply the brick with like a hand press whatever they're called. But I think then you open yourself up to certain issues that may come off the edges falling off or the vinyl not properly adhering to the surface of your garment because you're not putting it through that proper industrial and commercial application method. And I think that is something that has to be emphasized because this is the thing, right? I see plenty of comments saying, how many washes does this last? Does this peel off after two washes, whatever? And it's just kind of comical to me because obviously these people have never used it themselves and they're just spitting out their ass saying dumb stuff like this. And I used to comment back and just be like, you know what, how about you do it yourself? And you tell me if it lasts. And I think one of the biggest things is that the people who showcase stuff, they might be using an iron or they might be using like a hand press. And I think that is potentially misleading some people into thinking it's not good. But when applied properly, HTV, last so long like the only things that i've ever seen problems with for myself has been some plastisol ones because i wasn't putting enough pressure in the beginning and some puff where also i wasn't putting enough pressure on it so it wasn't puffing all the way causing issues with the adhesion and some of the thinner foil type ones that i've used in the beginning for example one of the reasons why i don't use metallic puff was that i did a metallic puff sample it looked great after pressing it but i washed it twice and the metallic sheen kind of went away and I always wash my clothing on cold water, gentle cycle, turn inside out and I use a drying rack. So I know it's not a wash issue so I don't know what's up with that but that's why I don't use it and I stick to the stuff that I know works well and also washes well because the last thing I want is someone to wash your clothing once and it either falls apart or it shrinks. So that's something to keep in mind is you know you have to always think about the customer satisfaction and in order to get that you have to test these garments yourself. You have to buy the products that you're going to sell and make sure that you're good because spending a little bit of time and effort in the early stages of R&D and making sure everything is good is going to save you a lot of headaches and charger packs in the future and it makes your brand look a lot better if everything lasts. So I know this was a short one but there wasn't a lot more I wanted to talk about besides just showcasing you all that you know I've been testing these for close to two years and they've been lasting pretty good obviously things age and things get wear and tear but overall nothing is peeled and i think that is the one thing i always want to try and stand up for for the hcv people is this shit is actually really good but you have to do it the right way you have to apply it properly you have to use high quality garments you have to follow instructions and then there shouldn't be any problems and if there are problems then there might be a manufacturer defect or the product's just not good and you have to move on and you have to run these tests so you see it for yourself don't just listen to me or other people on youtube telling you buy this try this because at the end of the day this is your business your money your products and you need to see it for yourself if, if it's going to be one good quality wise and two if it's a good fit for your customer base because what's best for me might not be what's best for you so with that last note, thank you all for watching today's video. If you want to support my channel further, you can find all of my links in the description box below, which will take you to my affiliate stuff. So it's all affiliate links and I get a little kickback. So thank you so much if you do use it. If not, no worries, life goes on. And if there's anything else you want to see in the future, let me know in the comments below because I do read and respond to all of them. If you ask me a question that I answer in the video, I will not answer you because that shows me that you didn't watch the video. So make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Peace.